up guys welcome back to air guns and air power we're not doing air guns and air power stuff today hope you're doing good today uh, I have a toilet every time you flush it the wax is gone on it it's running out on the floor I have to repair this we have already gone and shut off this water with the water valve we have plunged the, uh, the water down out of the bowl here so that uh, when you pick the toilet up, there's not much water at all in there to go all over your floor. So we're going to go ahead now. And we're going to remove these toilet bolts that are probably rusty. And I'm probably going to have to end up cutting them over here. So let's go try and find a 7 6 tooth, I think. I'll kick the camera over. You guys might hear Mackie's feet playing in the background. He's uh, doing his video at the same time I am trying to repair this. So we're 5 16 7 let's, let's try 3 8 first. I believe it is 7 6 8 like I said first time. And that is correct. We have our 7 16 socket. We're going to go ahead and use our adapter for our, sorry, I couldn't find out where the camera was for our uh, impact. Maybe it'll go ahead and back these off and I won't have to cut them. And came off. This one we right are not so lucky on. Huh? We are going to have to try and cut that one. So you guys excuse me for one more moment. this we're going to have to get it up a little further than what it is so we're going to hold the bolt and tear the vice grips I hope cannot see what is going on here.
That thing is rusty and tight on there. If they would actually make these out of stainless steel or something like that, these would be a lot easier to get off every time you had to remove your toilet. Now we could obviously keep doing that, but it would take forever. So your new uh, wax ring comes with bolts, so you just go ahead and get your bolt cutters. And uh... Make sure your bolt cutters are sharp, apparently. Because mine are not cutting that. Maybe I can snap it on off here now. There it is. Okay. Now we can remove said toilet. Here. here we are. We're watching Mac. Hey, I'm a lawyer. Hey, I have a law firm. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Um, let me get you guys back on the tripod. You're probably looking at the ceiling. You know what? I'm just going to leave you off the tripod and stick you over here. As I said, angle. to unhook the water line actually show you this you're gonna have water go out on the floor a little bit from the line it's okay you can get a towel because you probably have a towel in here anyway if you were cleaning up the leak now let's put you guys back over here I'm gonna take this pick it straight up get it out here see what this flange looks like I know it smells really bad down there guys. This is the nasty part right here. We're going to clean that wax up. See if we have a break in our ring. If we do not, we can put the new bolts in, the new wax on. Go ahead and put our toilet back down on there and tighten it up. Alright, the flange was fine. It was not cracked. I have got it back together. I skipped the part of me scraping the nasty wax up off the ring and throw, and putting it in a bag that was right beside me. If the flange would have been broke on either side, I actually bought two of these repairs. They go up under the flange and the bolt goes through the hole. And it has two holes on each side you can bolt it to your flange if you wanted to the bolt goes through there and uh, it holds up against your flange because they usually break where the bolt goes through the flanges are usually plastic or cast iron depending on what you have and that'll repair the side and unless you just want to cut that whole flange off or crawl under there unless you have a concrete foundation then you'd actually have to jackhammer the floor up to repair that but uh the flange was fine. We didn't have to fool with that. And uh, this is the wax ring I put on it. This is extra, actually another one that I have another toilet in my other bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and replace it because the trailer's been sitting here for years, probably four or five years, if not longer. That's why I've had to do all the work on it. On it. But now it flushes fine. No water is coming out on my floor now. It's nice and dry. Water was just pouring out here. And uh, I'm going to get something and straighten this up. Make it look a little better. But 
you know this is a trailer home you can't expect much for it that's it we got that one working now we have the second one in the other bathroom actually the tank on it is cracked and broken let me just walk you guys back here so I can show you show you this excuse the mess we're still unpacking still moving this is why air gun content has been so so off the radar for me because we just got a lot going on when I say a lot going on that tub we can't use it because it is actually if you can see that it is busted and has a hole in it there it's cracked so I can't use it plus that is leaking I was going to replace that uh, valve, but I decided I'll just replace the whole thing because I have to replace this tub anyway. And uh, this toilet here has, if you can see it, which I don't know if you can, has a hairline crack right in here, in this area here. I can't actually see where I'm holding you because it's kind of hard to do this. There's a hairline crack anyway, and it's leaking all over the floor. So that has to replace the tank, and I might as well go ahead and pull it up and replace the wax ring on it as well. They both have brand new valves in the back of them because the water was off forever, and uh, they just wasn't working when I got the water on. Now I have to repair this. I might have to get a new faucet for this one. I already got one for the other bathroom because this won't shut off and it's missing the aerator the water just goes everywhere anyway we're getting it done guys we are getting it done and uh you remember i replaced all that sheetrock and that floor there and uh yeah replaced that window the floor underneath my wife's stuff and her craft room here so that's it and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Air power's out.